Iran's missiles can absolutely be alone in the world in the Middle East and even let the United States are taboo. However, many people don't know that Iran has a distinctive feature in rockets. For example, in the 1990s, Iran has developed Fargil 3 and Fargil 5 large diameter rockets. Fargil 3 multi-tube rocket gun, it was developed by the Iranian Aerospace Industry Group of Shahid Barn Highly Industry Department. The rocket was earlier in 1996 and entered the Iranian troops in 1997 and participated in Abu Dhabi International Defense Exhibition in 2000. Feral 3 is a rocket gun with a diameter of 240 mm to a 6x6 truck and 12 artillery safety is configured and 6 each row. The maximum range of the gun reached 43 kilometers, and the emission speed was 1 hair 4 8 seconds. The gun's rocket is used to be a solid propellant rocket engine, which has a growth of 5.02 meters, and a weight is 407 kilograms. The combat is 90 kilograms, loading 45 kilograms high proof shelter. It can be said that Feral 3 is absolutely shining, and it will definitely be a fire seat. This power huge multi-tube rocket can also after an improvement. Initially, Fargil 3, which uses Nissan, 6x6, truck as a chassis. However, when the gun is equipped with the Iranian army, the chassis has been replaced with the 2624 series truck, 6x6, truck in Mercedes. After this improvement, this rare wheel multi-tube large diameter rocker motor performance has been greatly improved. This extensive Royal rocket can be more than 15 tons, the maximum highway speed can reach 70 km h, and the maximum off-road speed can reach 20 km h, and the biggest trip has reached 500 km. Through this improvement, Fargil 3 multi-tube rockets became a multi-supplied rocket barrier system with firepower and mobile. In successfully developing Farrer 3 at the same time, Iran has also developed a large number of Fargil 5 multi-tube rocket gun systems. This rocket can also be developed and produced by the Shadid Barn Highly Industry Department. The chassis also uses the 2624 series truck, 6x6, of the Mercedes-Benz company. Different, the Fidger 5 type diameter reached 333 mm and only four rocket launch tubes were equipped on each truck. The increase in the diameter makes the Fargil 5 range of 75 km and the launch speed is 1 hair 4 8 seconds. The rocket of the gun is 6.485 meters, which is a weight of 915 kilograms, and the combat is 175 kilograms, loaded 90 kilograms high-proof muscles. Fair 5 not only has increased power, but also has a more advanced computer fire control system, and one command vehicle can directly command to shoot four Fargil 5 tube rockets to shoot, and the artillery connecting the command vehicle can also command at the same time. 8 Fargier 5 multi-tube rockets were shot. A typical Fargil 5 rocket launched 2 rows and 4 multi-tube rocket system. And a Fargil 5 rocket camp has 2 connections. In addition, even joint level units and units are equipped with auxiliary vehicles such as maintenance vehicles, command vehicles, ammunition vehicles and filling vehicles. Moreover Iran is likely to mix Fargil 3 and Fargier 5. For Fargil 5, so powerful rockets Iran also continuously improved. First of all, the chassis is replaced with Mercedes-Benz trucks. After replacing the new chassis, the off-road mobility of Fidger 5 is greatly improved, and the closed cockpit can accommodate two members, and there is also a fully enclosed member cabin. In addition, the improved Fidger 5 is also equipped with advanced digital fire control systems, and shooting commands have automated, and each artillery is equipped with its own computer. Moreover, the gun can not only control launch in the launch vehicle, but also the ability to remotely transmit outside of 1,000 meters. After this improvement, the combat effect of Fargil 5 can be greatly improved. Iran's two rockets in the entire Middle East the area is definitely powerful. 
especially the combat effectiveness of Fargil 5, only the Guardian 2 remote rocket gun introduced by Turkey is comparable to it. Therefore, the Fargil series of rockets is definitely the most powerful rocker system in the Middle East. The Iranian military has unveiled what it claims is a conversion kit that converts artillery rockets into surface-to-surface -surface missiles, technology that Israel has accused Tehran of trying to deliver to Hezbollah, according to a report. The Islamic Republic unveiled the new guidance system upgrade, called Labik, last week at an event where several new military technologies were showcased, according to a report in Jane's Defense Weekly. The system appeared to be similar to the guidance systems in the FATA 110 family of solid propellant missiles, many of which are believed to be in the hands of Hezbollah terror group in Lebanon, the Times of Israel reported. The new system also appears to be compatible with Zeltzel heavy artillery rockets, according to the report by Jane's Defense Weekly. Video of the new conversion system shown on Iranian TV shows a short body featuring four inverted fins that can be fitted between the rocket and its payload. Uzi Rubin, one of the pioneers of Israel's earliest attempts at missile defense, told the Times of Israel that Iran has already been converting artillery rockets into missiles. But what's new here are the aerodynamics of the winglets, very unique, unseen in Iran to date and unseen in any other country, he told the news outlet. Going to indigenous design, rather than copying others indicates self-confidence. The purpose of the new and unique aerodynamics is probably to increase the maneuverability of the converted rockets, Rubin added. Asked if the latest development had any implications for Hezbollah's missile program or how the Jewish state deals with the terror group, Rubin replied that it definitely did. This is exactly the precision rocket project that Netanyahu and the IDF regard as a red line, he said. Hezbollah is believed to have more than 150,000 missiles, but only a small number of them can be guided to specific targets. Israel is worried that in a future war, the terror group could use a barrage of precision missiles to attack sensitive sites and overwhelm the country's air defense system. In a large-scale military training destined at sending strong signals to those who might be threatening Iran's security will be presenting new missiles and artillery systems. The head of Iran's air defense headquarters, Farzad Ismaili, said the three domestically built missile and artillery systems would be a significant boost to Iran's military defenses. The use of these weapons in the ongoing military exercise has been described as the most significant firing of missiles by Ismaili. Doubts still remain over Iran's successive military developments as experts believe that it always exaggerates its achievements. Among them is Michael Elman, a missile expert at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, IAS, said the country is famous for modifying and upgrading procured weapons overseas and claimed that it made it. He admitted that Iran has made significant achievements in the field of engineering and program management, but it is not yet capable of creating new air defense systems on its own. Nevertheless, concerns still linger over its longer-range missiles such as the Shahab.